The stakes have never been higher or more international. Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer! We're living it up for the summertime! And look at this, we got waves behind Rhett. Mountains. We got mountains. Cactus, the sun. It's road trip themed mythical summer in our studio. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm contain, so happy. Contain your excitement. I'm so happy. For the next eight weeks, we're going to be putting out new episodes of Good Mythical Summer every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And listen up, y'all. Starting this Saturday, there's going to be new episodes of Good Mythical Weekend. Good Mythical Weekend? Yes, every weekend. Your favorite Mythical crew members playing wild games, the likes of which you will not want to miss. It's going to be a hot, hot summer. Uh, speaking ha, of ha. hot. Ha, ha. That's yeah. like, I'm trying yeah. that. I'm trying yeah. that. Do that. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. I thought about going hot, hot with two. I don't but know. Then I was like, hot, hot. So you can't see I'm doing it. I, hot, hot. I, yeah, I don't know what you're doing. I know, and just, I'm trying to get something to catch on with can, the kids. Can I keep going? Hot, hot. I, I had a thing. The, can I keep this, going? This Generation Z is just also absurdist. Hot, hot. And nothing is explainable. Hot, hot, hot. It's just something. Hot, hot. They do things like that. Okay. We'll try to keep. I mean, I also had a bit. Can I try to oh, do yeah, my yeah, bit yeah, now? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of heat, mm -hmm. how, how do you <laughs> like your steak? Well done. <laughs> I know for a fact you like your steak medium rare. No, I like it hot, hot. So I was setting you up to say medium rare so that I could then say, around the world, steaks aren't medium rare at all, Rhett. They're actually quite common. Dang. And that would have been really funny. Been a awesome. lot funnier than the hot, hot thing that you decided ah, to do. Right. And we're going to taste five different steak dishes from around the world, and guess where they came from? Medium rare. Too late. It's time for... Where in the world do these international steak dishes come from? The Mythical Kitcheneers have recreated famous steak dishes from around the world, and you'll be throwing a dart at the country you think they came from. Yes. Chase, the Longhorn Cartographer, will measure how far you are from the correct answer. The Longhorn Cartographer? Yeah, yeah I, I think I kind of messed this one. I, You're supposed I, to be a cow. I was going to do a bunch of like horn jokes. I got a, a Vuvuzela. As you mean, it's all because it's a long. They were like, do the longhorn cartographer. I was like, hey, give me a vuvuzela. It's the longest. Like, you don't say vuvuzela into what? You need you need to blow into it. No, like he can't even use the long. Purse your lips like a trumpet. Make a make it the loudest farting noise you've ever made. You're making Chase cry. No, don't stick your tongue out. Yeah, keep, uh, yeah he'll, he'll keep working on it. Noise. Can we get he'll a keep tutorial? Working on it. <laughs> Closest one to the answer. It's supposed to be doing horn jokes. Around, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. The one. winner will receive a miraculous visit from an old friend. And Rhett, you won last time, so Link, you get to use the human meat thermometer advantage in the round Wait. of your choice. That sounds invasive. Okay, great. <laughs> and I'm afraid of this one. Is, is, this, this is a little tartare. This is beef tartare. I don't... Why can you just chop up raw beef, group it into something, and call it a dish? Is beyond me. I, I mean, you know, you know me. I like my steak well done. So this is, this is. <laughs> I mean, is this even safe? When the steak is really tasty, this is a. I, I actually really like this. Don't think about it as raw muscle. Don't think about it like you just went up to a cow and took a bite. Don't think about it like that. Think about it like it's just meat. I mean, it's tender and it's flavorful, but yeah, I can't get over those. Bravo, Trevor. Those facts. Oh, yeah, bravo, Trevor. You, Thank you. you you took some raw meat and you grouped it. This is a great. It's a great grouping. Now you're going first. So tell me everything that you know about tartare. Well, if this isn't Italy, then I don't know what's up and what's down anymore. Right? I mean. Uh, you got the Parmesan on top, you got some sort of oil involved. It feels like this is coming from Italy. I've been thinking about my tosses. My, I've been so bad at my tosses. Yeah, get And better. I think it's because I try to get close, you know, I try to get as close as you are and I try to like really think about it. I think for this, I'm just gonna keep my seat. And I think I'm gonna- Keep your seat, I like it. Instead of like looking at it and really lining it up, I think I'm just gonna act like a stranger Snuck up on me, turn and throw. I love that. I'm throwing it Italy though. 
I'll do a double take. Whoa! Hey, that's not bad. Wow. That, I mean, that's at least as good as I would have done. You sunk it pretty deep too. That that piece of tar you're gonna you're gonna eat all of that, dude. I can feel Pro a piece of tartar trying to make its way down my esophagus, and it just won't go all. I mean, way. I don't order it, but if the group orders it, the only place it. I've had it is I was in we were in Amsterdam when we got beef tartar, and I was oh. I was forced to eat it because. Uh, well, our agent kept raving about it. You know how agents are. Oh yeah, those agents and their tartar. Raving about tartar. Okay, agent, I'll eat your tartar. And we had already eaten, so it was. Kind we of had tough. already eaten, so it was. T it was. It was. It was, it was bad. Pretty, it's pretty tough. <laughs> pretty tough. I guess that does bring me to Italy. I mean, that's the closest place to Amsterdam that I was when I had it. And I'm gonna look right at it and throw it. Well, I suggest that for you. Yes. Oh, wow, that's pretty dang good. Thank <laughs> Be you just brave. had carne cruda albese. Uh oh. <laughs> that sounded a lot like a Spanish word. Which translates to Alba style raw meat. It's a spin on steak tartare that is topped with white truffles, which are unfortunately out of season right now, sorry, and Parmesan cheese to reflect its regional roots in Alba, Italy. Oh. Thank you, Rat. I was about to say, I thought you were about to say it was going to be down there in Brazil. You said carne. Is carne also meat in uh, yeah. Italian? Oh, do you know what pirates and trumpets have in common? They both murder the high seas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rhett, you had 14. Link, three. Wow, that was a good toss, Link. Thank you. Do you need him to blow his horn right in your mouth to get the steak to go down? Oh. Not yet. <laughs> He's just humming it. <laughs> we got a little smorgasbord here, Link. Yeah, we do. Not well, that it's German. Chips. Well, there's steak here, and then there's um, there's something weird on top of the steak, and then Pro there's chips. Probably roasted garlic. What? What is that on top of the steak? Probably roasted garlic. I think it's roasted garlic. That's so good. That is very good. And what do we got over here? A lot of starches. You got rice and potato chips. I rarely eat rice and potato chips together because I'm not given the opportunity enough. Hmm. Try that on for size, Link. The one thing you haven't eaten yet. Yeah, this has got to be the missing component. It's going to defy every expectation that you're bringing to your mouth. What is that? I have no idea. It's powdery on the outside. That steak good. It's very, um, it's flakes of something. It's real mushy, it's real. It's an onion with the weirdest powder on it. I don't know, I gotta like keep eating Like fried powder. Out. So everything's kind of, yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure out these, this onion stuff because I've never seen yeah, smelled, you're, you're tasted, or heard of this. Maybe you put it on the ch chip. Is that an onion? You know what I think it's, I think it's a sliced leek. I'm being drawn to Cameroon, right there in the middle of Africa, because it's just the first thing I saw. Um, is that your strategy? Yeah, whatever the first thing I see is. It's kind of blandish. It's a little blandish. Might be Falkland Islands. Could be, us. could be. They're gonna do that to us one day. I, I really don't know. Cameroon's in the middle of the board. I'm going for it. Oh, and I, I didn't do what I was thinking. Well, you may have done better than what you were thinking, because you think it's Brazil? Well, no, Brazilian I don't. Brazilian steakhouse, man. I, the only got, here's the, here's the thing. They ain't got all that stuff with it. Um, these are not potato chips. If you look at the cross section of that, it is a tuber, yes, but it is. <laughs> it's not, you're right. It's a long tuber. It tastes like a potato. That is cut very thin, that has this cross section that you don't get. It might be a type of potato. I thought it was like a yucca, like a yucca thing. I thought Chase was the long tuber. He is. Well, you're long tube. <laughs> That's not how you do it. Yeah, I'm not taking you to a soccer game. So what are you thinking, homie? Man. Don't take this man to the World Cup. Because I feel like it's either like Bangladesh, Indonesia, maybe. This is just, it's this right. spicy enough. You're right about that. 
This is so unusual that it does strike me as like, oh, they eat this in Cameroon and you don't know it. And this, and these roots, right. like maybe this is something from the south of Africa. Yeah, from the dirt. Go but it, it could be Brazil. It could be. Gonna have to make a call. I'm not gonna go all the way to, but my gut instinct was Indonesia, but you're right, it's not spicy enough. And Shouldn't if I'm wrong. It. That's a long way. I'm so far from the right answer, but I gotta do my technique. This, I'm not, I'm not gonna do a double take. I'm just gonna turn and throw. But I am looking at Cameroon. Oh, that was not as good as I wanted it. I don't know, I, I love what you're doing. You just had Phile Oswaldo Arana, a dish named after former politician and diplomat Oswaldo Arana. He would request fried garlic, white rice, farofa, and potato chips alongside his steaks so often that the restaurant he frequented soon added it to their menu in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Mm. Oh, I got lucky. Rhett, you really kind of tromboned that one. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you had 34 <laughs> and Link, nine. Yeah, baby. Wow, I gotta, I gotta mount a comeback here. Good gracious. This is a juicy beef dish here. Dang, this is gonna be good, I can tell already. It's gonna be a little spicy. Mm. They, didn't, they didn't hit us too hard with the spice. Mm. And maybe it's because I didn't eat one of those red things. Very good. It's not too spicy. It's very, very flavorful. Now, this has got Canada written all over it. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely thinking this is Canada. Man, that's good. Uh, could be Finland, if it existed, right? You know. <laughs> <clears throat> that's right. You're really, really stretching this one out. So, uh, I'm gonna split the difference between those two because it's, I mean, when you get up to those northern countries, you want to start putting, um, you want to start Dang. coating your beef in something to just fry it down nice and, you know, like a like a nice Canadian stir fry. This is an interesting strategy you're uh, you're, you're you're giving. So I'm gonna split the difference between um, Canada and Finland, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little bit towards Canada just because um, I'm gonna hedge my bets a little bit though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Whoops! I, I didn't mean to go that far east. That was, that was really was that a joke far frustrating. East? I'm so frustrating that my aim is so bad. I see the bit you're doing. I quite enjoy it. Uh, it made me laugh. That was good. He's Do doing, a, little toot? He's doing a bit. Give him a toot. <laughs> Um, what do you think? Indonesia or South Korea? I don't know. What about Bangladesh? It could be. Maybe I should get further away. No. Maybe you shouldn't look at it at all. The old no look. Uh oh! Okay. He's thrown. It's gone. You just had ginger beef, deep fried slices of steak doused in a dark, sweet, and spicy sauce. While the dish was inspired by Chinese cuisine, it was invented by George Wong at the Silver Inn restaurant in Calgary. It has since become a staple at Chinese restaurants all throughout Canada. Dude! <laughs> you blew it, man. Oh, my aim. It's, <laughs> my aim is just so bad. Thank you. Yeah, Rhett, you had 63 link. Good guess, but bad aim, 78. Well, I chipped Ooh. away just a teeny bit. A little chip beef away. Have you had your eye on my shirt that looks like it's a shirt made from three other shirts? I have, yeah. <laughs> it's a color blocking shirt. It's very summer. Well, it's the official Good Mythical Summer 2023 shirt. You can get it over at mythical.com. It's, it's nice and soft. Great to take on your road trip. And then you can send a postcard back home to your peeps. This postcard right here is available also at mythical.com. And if, for those of you who are curious, that sun back there is made of actual vintage postcards. 
I was what, I was what thinking world. this whole time. What is that sun made of? What a world! What a world that we that we we're, that we're living in here. We're basking in. Okay. I'm still in the lead, but man, I'm only. That was a tough round for for both of us. Twenty one centimeters. For you. Yeah, that that hurt. That hurt. It hurt to be so right yet so wrong. Stringy beef, um, and onions. There's a little bit of lime. That's exquisite. It really is. Trevor, you just keep outdoing yourself. Mm. I mean, look at that. Look it's, how stringy it's like it is. like stringed, fried, throw the onions on it. There's some kind of spice in there that's, that should help me. Good. Mm. I don't want to use my advantage yet because I'm going first. That spice, part of it feels kind of jerkish. Like um, like a Jamaican jerk spice. I mean, is that sending me to Cuba? It's a spiced beef. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely thinking Falkland Islands, Cameroon, Brazil, Cuba. I'm gonna go decisive because of the lime with Cuba. Oh, that's close. Dang. I'm loving that. I really wish you had You liking Cuba, Holmes? That's what I was gonna choose. Because I've never had this exact dish at a Cuban restaurant, I don't think, but I've had something very much like it with the lime and the onion. You ever had a Cuban cigar? They're illegal! Are don't they, bring that up! Are they so much better? They're better because they've been- So irresponsible! <laughs> Dang it, why'd you have to get so close to Cuba? I came to win, man. I feel like it could be Brazil, because it's so beef forward. Mm -hmm. And the lime and the onion would still make sense. I think you're probably right with Cuba, but it doesn't do me any favors to, and I can't go, I'm not, I can't abandon my technique. I'm gonna turn. <laughs> can't abandon your technique. I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna Don't. Brazil it. That's the thing I like to cheer for, it's that technique. Oh gosh. <laughs> You hit the tip of the nose of the cow. I'm consistently left and low. <coughs> Throws are a little flaccid today. <laughs> Vaca frita, AKA fried cow, an easy to make dish consisting of fried shredded steak and sauteed onions from the second most populous country in the Caribbean, Cuba. Uh, yeah. Also, we already had a dish from Brazil. Oh, oh rat. I thought you. I didn't know that either. I thought we thought Link thought the last one was from Brazil, and then it was Canada, but that was two rounds ago. Oh, yeah. Before I give you guys your score, here's a little joke. You ever heard a French horn player in tune? Neither have I. <laughs> uh, okay, Link, <laughs> you had three. Nice. Rhett, twenty-two. Uh, yikes! Yikes! Bye. Oh, we're gonna do that, huh? <laughs> oh, what's what's this? Another dish? Soup. That's a thick. That's a thicky. Oh, what is that? A bean? Still more onions. It, no matter where you go on Earth, it seems that people like to put onions with their beef. Hmm. That's interesting. I know, how, how would you describe that to people who aren't eating? A little sour. Yeah, there's a sourness to it. And there's, it has a bean, so you like that. I like a bean. I actually got a little scared because it was sour. It frightened you a little bit? Yeah, it just kinda, it kinda told me, maybe you shouldn't eat this, but then if it, if it had the word sour in the title and I ordered it, then I wouldn't say that. But oh, this is what I ordered. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still going first. I, I'm gonna use my advantage because I've held it this long. Uh... Link! To use the human meat thermometer, you must become the human meat thermometer. What? Okay. What do you mean? No, you no, no. cannot, did you just use that gun? Well, what? <laughs> I just, why I turned it on, I think. Hey, why don't you listen? <laughs> you, you actually shot a temperature. Oh, okay. Did you see it? No. Okay. You what get to touch wrong? this steak for one brief moment 
to guess how hot it is. And if you guess a number within five degrees of the actual temperature, you get the hint. And we use the the that temperature oh, thermometer. To I'll, I'll gauge it. Because I'd like to use that. Okay, okay, so I have to touch it. Okay, yeah. you'd be good at this. <clears throat> I go out like, man, it's cold every day. It's 84 degrees. <laughs> Shall I? Yeah. Because I know in this room it's probably... It's probably 72. Well, it might be warmer now. 70? Might be 74. Depends on how high you are. 74. So is this colder or hotter than that? I got your back. Okay. That's colder. I'm going to say this is 69 degrees. You think it? 69.8 degrees. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Okay, so the the thing I, that you win, I'm good, y'all, should actually be helpful because this is the mystery round. So oh, is this, this it? on this slip of paper, don't show Rhett. It's it's two uh-huh. continents that the answer is not on. Okay, all right. <laughs> now where I just have to figure out where those continents are. Because the 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 sour the sourness kind of makes me think of like a Thai soup. Um, hmm. Yep. And that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Automatic 50. No, 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 no. There's no rule for that. <laughs> you but missed the board. Did, I didn't miss it. It bounced off the board. Yeah, because you threw it so hard that it went sideways. <laughs> Dude, that's an automatic 50. <laughs> I didn't miss the board. It just didn't stick in there. What is that? That's never happened. Yeah, I, I, I was. I think it's a go again. How did that happen? That was fun though. I mean, it was nowhere close to Thailand anyway. Maybe it will be this time. Oh, Iran, <sighs> which of course is not Iran. It's none of. It's anything goes. It's none of the ones on the board. So I, oh, I don't even think. Even if I were to get it right, I don't. Well, there may be forty centimeters between those locations. I was thinking Mexico. Um, Can I get? Let me get this out of here. I was thinking Mexico because. The thing that I'm feeling it's most closely related to is uh, like that menudo that we had that one time. Yeah. Because it's, it's got, but that has like tripe and stuff in it, but it feels like it might be tangential to that. I don't know. I, I can't say it's over there because you're too close anyway. 40 centimeters separates our top two contenders. Okay, so I'm not gonna abandon my technique even though I probably should. You know what, I, I'm not even gonna move this time. Do you want me to abandon my horn playing? No, please don't. I'm going for Mexico. You need to keep practicing. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, that's where you threw it, huh? I'm always a little bit left. All right. You just had beef in its juice, which sounds a little bit better when I say carne en su jugo. This beef soup made with bacon, beans, garlic, onions, and steak got its start as a 1950s hangover cure served at the El Gallo restaurant in Guadalajara, Mexico. Yeah. You nailed that. But I think I wasn't. Link. I was trying to get you to go to Thailand. I was trying to what? lure him there. And it said, no Asia and no Europe, so I threw it right so there has between to be, Asia and Europe. There has to be at least a 40 centimeter difference between the two. And I'm measuring from this I was, dirt, not I was aiming dirt. for Africa. I right. was aiming for Africa. Rhett, you had seven. <laughs> <laughs> Link, you had 44. Oh, you did it! You pulled it off! I did it just barely? Dang it! Yes. Oh, man! By four centimeters, right? Yes. By three mm-hmm. centimeters. Dang it! I'd like to thank everyone who Woo. pulled for me, believed in me. I'm back on top. You'll yeah. get the advantage next oh, time. Oh, man. I th- every opportunity wasted. I'd like some more of that Cuban beef if I could. So, Link, uh, you and only you get a miraculous visit from our old steak comprised friend, <laughs> Michelle. Steak comprised. <gasps> it's Michelle. She's right there. Do you see her? Hey, hey, Michelle. Hey, yes, I love you too. I I miss you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your praise. What is going on? Yes. I, I, how are you doing in in, in, beef heaven? I don't see her. You're gone. Don't eat the jerky. Beef heaven? (laughs) Sounds like a place I'd like to be. (laughs) 
That means so much to me, guys. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Elise from Indiana, and I just finished coloring a scene from an international taste test in my mythical coloring book while listening to Ear Biscuits. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Can you get more mythical? I don't think so. I think you can. I don't think so. I think you can. Click the top link to explore some of the most unbelievable ways people have misheard common phrases and good mythical And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Get a little something to remember us by when you shop the Good Mythical Summer Souvenir Tea and Postcard. Available now at mythical.com.